Hi guys, you are all welcome to this uh, virtual training session about Informatica MDM and uh, the topic for today is uh, the stage. So we'll see, uh, we'll try to explore uh, this here that is uh, from landing to the stage. We'll uh, see theoretically how things work and then uh, we'll see in the tool how to configure that. So basically uh, you use an ETL to load data into this uh, landing tables. Once data is in these landing tables, then you use an Informatica MDM mapping to load data from this landing tables to the staging tables. Okay, that's very much clear. You have to use a mapping. That's the only way. And that's the only place where mapping is needed. You do not need mappings when you load load data from the staging to your base objects or any point of this time this is the only place where you need a mapping okay so let's see what is a mapping so here you go you go to the mappings tab and then you create a mapping so let's say I created this mapping or any mapping you can see this is the landing table and this is the staging table and this is basically the mapping that is here account id has been mapped to the pkSRC object this is the primary key okay this is the primary key this will be stored in the cross reference table and you can see similarly all this information has been uh, has been mapped and you can see this all there are a lot of system columns that are there in the staging table okay and uh, you do not need to map these staging tables and uh, details about the staging tables you can get it from here you go to the base objects and then the staging tables and uh, another information about staging tables is uh, let's say if you have 100 uh, if you're trying to integrate 100 different source systems then you will probably have 100 staging tables but you will have one landing table okay so that's about the staging table use a mapping to do that okay this mapping could be very simple or uh, that is basic mapping or it could be very complicated as well you could uh, you can use any of the cleanse functions okay let's say this is uh, one example of a cleanse function so let's say you can uh, if you you can use anything so i'm just giving an example so let's say your uh, first name is coming like this and then uh, convert it to an uppercase and then uh, you use it you save it and then we are done okay you can also test it here you do not need to I mean uh, run it directly you can test with a single source you provide the information and then you can test it here you can uh, provide the information here and you can test it so that's uh, very simple and to run it you need to go here okay and then uh, run these jobs okay it's a right click and execute so that job will be executed okay so that's about the stage process thank you very much for uh, listening that's it for uh, now